Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a crock pot collaboration with some of the other girls on YouTube. Uh, Linda with Linda's Pantry, Heather with the Needy Homesteader, and Lisa uh, with Sutton's Days. And there's some other people too. I just I don't, haven't learned all their names yet. But I'm excited. I'm going to be doing a pork chop and sauerkraut uh, meal with mashed potatoes on the side. So uh, I want to get started. So here we go. Okay, I'm back. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brown my pork chops a little bit, or pork steaks, so they'll have a little bit of brown on them. So I've got in my skillet, I have about, about a tablespoon of olive oil. So I think I can get two in here at a time. And we're going to brown those off a little bit. A little bit. And that just gives them a little bit of crispiness before I put them in the crock pot. I didn't season them because there's going to be enough seasoning in the crock pot itself. So. so let me get these browned off and then I will bring you back to the crock pot. Okay, I'm back. I've browned my pork chops. And now I'm going to add, uh, I've already got the 30, about a 32 ounce jar of sauerkraut in my crock pot. And to that, I'm going to add some of my home canned uh, tomatoes from last year. And put that in there and stir it around a little bit. And I might need to add just a little bit more. I don't think that's quite enough liquid. So I got another jar sitting here. But I don't want to use all of it. So we'll use about we'll use about half of it. Stir that around. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, and then to that I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of caraway seed and about a teaspoon of black pepper. That in there. And then I like a little bit of brown sugar in my uh, sauerkraut uh, when I cook it. So about, about a tablespoon of brown sugar. And mix that up. Okay. And then about three bay leaves those in there and then the pork chops go on the top and I've got four because well there's just Ed and I so he can take some to to work for lunch too so those in there and then I have about a quarter cup of the juice that I reserved from the sauerkraut I'm going to pour over the top of the pork chops Okay, and I'm going to put the lid on it, and I'm going to cook it on high for one hour, and then I'm going to put it down on low and cook it for about five hours to finish it off. So I'll bring you back when it's all done. I have my mashed potatoes ready, and it's all done. Okay, guys, I'm back with my crock pot collaboration. I did the pork chops with sauerkraut and uh, mashed potatoes, and it turned out so good. The mashed potatoes I made were you know, homemade potatoes using the yellow butter golden potatoes inside to make those and then in the crock pot it's still it's still boiling so I'm gonna keep it warm for Ed when he comes home from work. But it turned out really good. And then there's a plate of it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna taste the sauerkraut. Then the mashed potatoes. There's a close up. Oh, yum. It's really good. And then the pork chops. Kind of hard to do this one-handed. There's the pork chop. Oh, wow. That turned out really good. Well, this is a lot of fun. I, I want to thank Linda's Pantry and the Needy Homesteader and Sutton's Days for letting me join in on this collaboration and I hope y'all watch my videos coming up and you have a good night. Bye!